With the 130th pick of the NFL Draft in the fourth round, the Eagles pick defensive end Josh Schwett from Florida State. Now, Josh Schwett is projected he should have been a first-round pick. Now, earlier in his career, he had a lot of knee injuries. He wears a brace, a little tiny brace on his right or left knee. I forgot which knee it is. But he was projected by Mike Mayock. If he doesn't have the knee injury, he would have been a first-round pick. Now, this isn't a recent knee injury. This is literally he's had knee injuries earlier in his career. Now, without those knee injuries, he would have been a top 35 pick in the draft this year. At 6'5", 255 pounds, I've seen some, I've seen tape on Josh Sweat. Um, Brian Baldinger was talking about Josh Sweat when he does his little videos. He literally manhandles tackles like it's nothing. And it's kind of fucking crazy. Okay. Um, now, why did we pick at the end? We already said at the end. Well, the problem, the thing is, after this year, who are you going to have? Now, depending if Brandon Graham gets re-signed, which I think he will, that restructure from Brandon Graham probably will help that a lot. Um, Chris Long is probably going to be in his last year. He's probably going to retire after this year. So Chris Long's last year. Brandon Graham, if he's not around, then yeah, this would probably make more sense as well. Derek Barnett's here. Vinny Curry's gone. Michael Bennett, maybe a one- to two-year rental. I don't know. But... The DN spot is great, so why not get more depth? Why not get another guy, another pass rusher that could do it? If Derek Barnett could do it, maybe this guy could do it. This guy was supposed to go in the first round, okay? Um, I don't know statistically how many sacks he's had or whatnot, but this guy, everybody is talking so great about him. Other than the knee injury that he had earlier in his career, he has, he is just, he is good with his hands. He's good. He has very good technique. So now it's all about him going to a 4-3 defense and literally just picking a gap and going forward and attacking. And I think this is the strong suit of what Josh Sweat can actually do on the field for the Philadelphia Eagles this year if he's in that rotation. So I think Josh Sweat could be in this rotation with the DNs this year. So um, there's a lot that I could say about this. There's, um, you know, with the depth we have now, Plus getting another player from the draft. Now, we drafted the ends in the past. We drafted guys. I think it was another guy from Florida. Um, I forgot his name. He was a science experiment that, that we had the past few years. But I don't know if he's even on the, probably on the practice squad still. But um, this guy right here from Florida State, this guy is, this Josh Sweat is, this guy is powerful. And I even watched a video on Josh Webb. I was at work. I was watching video today. A lot of video on some guys. So, Josh Sweat it could could really be the guy. And honestly, everyone is saying that this is a steal for the Philadelphia Eagles. This pick was a steal. You know what I mean? It's 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 crazy. So you get a guy like Josh Sweat coming to this rotation, and this is a rotation. We'll see how the knee is. We'll see how he is. Now, like I said before, the knee injury was early in his career. It wasn't he hasn't had any recent knee injuries, but he rehabs it he tapes it up not tapes up he has a, a knee brace on a little tiny knee brace on but when I see him come off the line with both his hands up attacking he literally gets his hand and once his hands are on a tackle he literally just he cannot be moved he is like I said 6'5 250 50, 50, 255 pounds of just boulder rock he's a hard rock coming off that line and um, I, can't, I can't complain about this pick either. I can't. I really can't complain about it. I mean, you get a cornerback, you get another edge rusher with, you know, potentially Chris Long is going to be retiring. So you got to look out for that. Then you got another guy, you know what I mean, that Michael Bennett could be a rental just for this year. I don't, I don't know. Could be, could not be. I don't know. But you can't have more than a few edge rushers. And honestly... More teams are copying the Philadelphia Eagles and, and getting as many edge rushers and as many defensive linemen as possible and stacking up. Um, but I think the Eagles have the best the best personnel in the whole league, plus depth. Our second defensive line could start for another team. That's how good it is. That's why we did good last year. That's why we won the damn Super Bowl last year. So when you look at Josh Wett, you don't think, oh, knee injury? Nah. No. You think high risk. No, low risk, high reward. You know what? He could do well. Hasn't had a knee injury in a long time. Knock on fucking wood.
Okay, so gotta think very positive, very positive about it. I have I'm very, I feel very good about it. I can't wait till camp. I can't wait till. I just want football to start right now. So let me know in the comment section below about Josh Sweat, the defensive end from Florida State. And that's about it. So guys, that's all I gotta say. So let me know what you guys think. Fly was fly. Shake squad up.